Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be reacting to and break down the technique of Andrea Cortuda, who won the 55 women's 55 kilogram weightlifting European Championships. Very impressive athlete, still only 19 years old. So very, very cool. And at 55 snatches and clean and jerks, an amazing amount of weight. So let's jump in. Yeah, we never Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be watching every lift on its own and then break it down a little bit, things I might notice, might see. Uh, I've obviously seen all of this already, so I'm not going to be surprised. It's not going to be a, a full reaction, but I'm going to be spending some time breaking down things that I notice in our lifts. Here's Andrea Cotruta. Got a lot of tape Watched and wrap to stuff around our hands. It's not often not I see that. Thursday. And she's actually got tape through the middle of her hand as well. Not quite comfortable with the hook grip there. Very strong. Yeah. Yeah, the Romanians are here. Yeah, very sure. strong. Right, so and she you can see she acts surprised there. This is only no, this is two kilograms. This is actually a PB, yeah. Uh 80, no, it's two kilograms under her PB. A PB is 89. Or a one rep max current at this point was 89 and she made 87 really easy really smooth so a couple of things what i find interesting with her she's got quite a wide stance when she starts you'll see this a little bit further on when we have a shot from the front we do have one but it's not quite her feet and she makes sure she's comfortable with a hook grip before she starts so you can see that when she's down here she hooks let's go hooks a couple of times they hooks let's go and then she hooks again, let's go, and then she hooks, and then she's good to go. So starting position is good. She makes sure there's tension in her hamstrings, which is what she's doing there. Nice and slow, gets ready. Drops a little bit with her elbows bent so she can set her shoulders, as you can see there. Head nice and up, very, very good starting position. Her knees are a little bit forward, and her shoulders, therefore, slightly oh, not really over the as much over the bar as I would like. But... Every individual has their own little bit of uh, a tweak on the technique. She looks like she has fairly long femurs, which could be why and why her pull is so strong. And you'll see her pull is really, really strong. And I would wager her pull is probably a bit, bit stronger than maybe her squats in relation to each other, if, you, if that makes sense. Uh, and this is partially because it looks like she's got fairly long femurs. Uh, and her knees are forward of the elbows. Again, long femurs means she has to kind of sit back to get into the good position. If she were to have her knees further back and her bum higher, she might be too far over the bar, too much in her toes, which is not ideal. Right, really strong pull. Her knees goes, shoots back really quickly. Her uh, shoulders and her hip rise at this pretty much the same time, as in in unison. So it bums up a little bit at the start, but then it's pretty much squared away. Onto her toes a little bit before extension, which is not ideal, but she obviously makes it work. Uh, you want to try and be full foot as as long as you can. Uh, very strong. Really good. Yeah, the Romanian. Good strong pull. She pulls that really high. Let's see if we can pause it where she pulls it. Right there. So she uh, might not power it. But pretty close, pretty close. And considering this is literally a PB, her power clean, her power snatch is probably quite high. Uh, very strong. Yeah. Yeah. The Romanians are here, for sure. Very good. Whole team very very good. Yeah. Sure. But if anyone right, so now we're out for a second lift. Andrea coming out now at 91 kilos. This is two kilos over her personal best of 89. So this will now be a new PB of two kilograms. Got 45, 40 seconds left. So there you can see her, her stance is quite wide, uh, which for most people, you want to be a bit narrower than that. And her toes are pointed straight ahead. 
Rennie takes the time. Perfect. Yep. Rushes that stand. Oh. So that is a... So firstly, she... Let's break that down quickly. Obviously, she failed that rep, which is unfortunate. But a couple of things here. So her toes are really, really pointed forward, which you can actually see her shift, her sh her, her um, stance literally second, a split second before the lift. You watch her feet. As soon as she starts going, you can see her heels. There you go. Um, so as soon as she starts, she shifts her heels slightly out, uh, her heels in and her toes slightly out. Millimeters, but that does happen. Uh, very very good extension maybe a little bit too far behind the bar in that one uh it's not quite the same angle so it's hard to tell and let's see Ready again hook time. grip there loosening tightening loosening tightening sets her hamstrings really good and rushes the stand just a little bit her knees collapsing in there uh and as she rushes the stand it pushes the bar forward and then she takes too much of a step forward to counterbalance Perfect. Yep. Ooh. Oh. and then she ends up behind unfortunately too far in front of the bar and loses it behind her uh this is actually how a lot of elbow injuries in weightlifting happen perfect yep. oh. yeah so that's literally just it her knees aren't quite strong there I th uh, like i said earlier i would wager her squats are probably not as strong as her pulls uh, i have no idea i don't know what her squat run rep maxes are um in a relation to her lifts but i would wager because she she does seem like she's got longer Ooh. femurs oh and then absolutely loses her shit she which is, is fair enough this is a world happy. stage you that probably, was probably be pretty complete, pissed off yeah completely unexpected move right now you're forced to come out right and what happened here actually was that she failed the lift normally if you have other athletes at the same weight they'd get then get an opportunity to lift which then gives you a bit of a a, a rest period uh what happened here the uh ukrainian i believe it was then upped her weight by like one kilogram which meant that andrea then had to come out um within a minute essentially so she had a minute once the weight got up she had a minute so a very short rest period and if you think about this is a pb attempt you know normally me anyway and i'm probably most people probably want to rest a bit more than that for a pb pb attempt the weight you're pretty upset that you missed yeah if she doesn't make this now Gosh, yeah, it, it would be the smartest move for her to take 91. It would still put her ahead of Smoliak on the off chance. Smoliak doesn't make any other lifts. And it so, will just help her in the cleanage yeah. up because we know that Yalian has got a big lift if she wants it. She was still she second. Okay, here at she this comes point. out. So even if she didn't make this lift, she'd still be second. There. Whether or not she's keeping an eye on it, I'm not sure. She looks focused. She looks like she's. She's in her own head. Yeah. Okay. Can she replicate the same thing? Just be a little bit more patient on the stand. There we go. There you go. Good. Very strong. Go. Now Good. Just be patient. Yep. Yep. Again, she rushed that a little bit. She could have been a bit more patient, which is why she stepped forward. Because she rushed it, she kind of pushed the bar a little bit forward. She's not the end of the world. She still made the lift. Very good lift and obviously Very super true. happy. Did okay. She dropped that a bit. <laughs> a little high, yeah. As you can high. see. Yes, and that's the other thing. She actually, she, it's very close to her eyes. Uh, I don't know if we see it here. So, um, makes the snatch. There we go. Very strong. There we go. Now good. Be patient. Yep. And so there is pretty much eye level. I believe the uh, International World uh, Weightlifting Federation rulebook says you have to drop it from below your shoulders. So you have to hold on to the bar until it's below your shoulders. That's very close. Um, and there was actually a bit of a bit of a hold on the judge. They ended up giving her the lift, but it was pretty close um, because she actually drops it about here, which is not ideal and it, it takes a lot to get used to that when you're going from crossfit specifically to weightlifting uh crossfitters we just drop it from the top you know and as a weightlifter i'm now a weightlifter we you know we have to hold on to the bar uh, so let's quickly break this down again hook grip regripping all the time which is good make sure you're comfortable make sure you're happy it's also a bit of a a real um a routine almost 
you know uh, her lift all of her lift starts very very similar you can sh see her bum shoots up then tightens her um hamstrings so there you go shoots up tightens her hamstrings and then pulls there really really strong very strong her left knee there. still collapsing collapsing a little bit but as you can see she's got tape on there so there might be something a little bit wrong with that maybe her itb maybe some external rota external rotator is not quite happy and therefore she even on the pool you can see her knees collapse in a little bit maybe more or left yeah pretty similar both of them uh but it's it it happens nonetheless uh let's see if we can get this so good there good 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 close to the close to the bar Re maintains contact with the bar extending really well not as far behind and then already flat footed there this is also something you see very often with weightlifters they tend to be on their toes at this point you need to land flat footed land solid get that foundation sorted before you're under under the bar and then really good catch strong catch and you'll see there her knee go. there collapse still both of her knees do actually i don't know if she it looks like she might have tape on that side as well i'm not 100 percent sure uh that would be a bit too forward though very strong uh and then steps forward again but strong, at least yeah. not too yeah, much many times it. and then she drops it too early very good lift i really really like that all right and here we've got let me just make myself a little bit smaller here here we've got actually uh all three lifts at the same time right next to each other which is going to be pretty cool uh cool to see how they compare with each other and her setup etc so let's have a quick look here so you can see with all of them she shoots up with the lighter weight she takes a bit more of a time there and she doesn't quite sit as low down in, in between so you can see here it's fairly deep maybe the same and there she seems to be a little bit might just be the angle but she seems to be a little bit deeper you can see the angle between her legs there uh, is a little bit a little bit different starting position there when before she starts pulling is pretty much exactly the same the only difference is her chin might be slightly higher facial expressions the same there and then um, she looks a little bit more relaxed with that one there pulls really well pretty much consistent there maybe a little bit slower on the pull there uh again before extension onto the toes with all three and pretty much the same amount as well which is quite in, quite uh interesting and again everything seems the same here uh yeah pretty much catches very much the same catches that one a little bit higher Hmm, maybe yeah that one's a little bit higher than every, every all of these two might be the same so one and three might be the same uh her head's way more through here and there as well so you can kind of see uh why she might have missed this lift there's a couple of things uh one of her knee here is a little bit more collapsed in my opinion yeah if you look at the angle of her of her ankle there it's a little bit more pronounced here than on either on one or three and her head's not quite pushed as much through the bar as i would like and catching good there her knee actually collapsed a little bit more i think than on these and you can see here her torso position is just not ideal for where the bar is and then she steps forward a little bit too much still steps forward but not quite quite this or at least more controlled and then holds it very very good very impressive to see awesome all right and now it's for the clean she opens at 107 okay, so kilograms which is very is impressive for a 55 kilogram girl kilos for andrea again at 19 she years leads old after the snatch was 91 this will move her into the lead ahead of samuliak who made 105 look pretty pretty easy yeah and as you heard there she leads the snatch at 91 uh so even though she was forced to take that one snatch the third snatch very soon after the second and made it the other athlete that upped her weight to force andrea to do this didn't actually make her lift so arguments would be that maybe if she just hit that 191 which the other girl planned on doing the ukrainian girl 
maybe she would have done the same or maybe she would have hit it and andrea might have been forced to go up by by one kilogram to win so this is kind of a game that people play with each other against each other in weightlifting uh, and very often it fails uh, more often than not it fails she has a very snappy jerk andrea very again jerker can't really see here because her name's in the way but quite a wide stance sets her hamstrings yep, strong clean twists a little bit to the right as you can see she's now not quite at a right angle to the camera which is fine yeah, very very fast. quick very easy work jerk. that 107 <laughs> <laughs> true to will now go for 110 to move back into the lead in all lifts this will move Quatruta ahead of Svitlana by uh, two kilos ahead of Svetlana, which I wonder might prove too much for the the clean of Svetlana. Yeah, this attempt. is quite. This is the interesting That's one so where she actually passes up. Lift too. This is huge. One twelve is see there wide, wide, quite a wide so stance. This is still somewhat familiar. Kadimo almost their toes are almost pointing in there. Territory for Andrea. It's a tough clean. Oh, she's and, passing she's out. Oh. and you can see when she stands up, her ne her legs just aren't quite there. She's she still she stands it up, fairly easy, but you can see her legs are they don't quite fully extend. They don't straighten up fully. They they struggling a little bit. It's a tough clean. Oh, she's passing out. Oh. Oh. This has actually happened to me. It happens to a lot of weightlifters. If you just catch it slightly high on one of your arteries, it actually cuts the blood supply, and then your brain just kind of switch off. <laughs> it's a rudimentary explanation, but that's essentially what happens. Uh, it's not necessarily dangerous, apart from how you fall. And luckily, she kind of dropped the bar before she fully passed out and didn't actually hit her head. And yeah, some athletes have hurt themselves quite hard, quite badly and try and hold on to the bar when they can feel themselves go just if that does happen to you just let the bar go make the lift another time that's the second athlete we've wow so it would just push her even further she's done so funnily enough the ukrainian girl did exactly the same thing to andrea here by upping her weight which meant that andrea then only had about a minute between the two lifts after she passed out and you can see her shaking her head she or very often after that you're a bit confused about where you are she should be fine at this point she obviously knows what she needs to do um but still you're a bit jarred from passing out 112 before but it looks like she's i think she out. has to come out i don't think she can justify an increase because you can see what she's written on her belt there all of these yeah positive i really like the the personalized belt doesn't look like she's got a branded belt like a lot of the weightlifters do like a, a weightlifting house belt or an eleco belt or a hook grip something she's got hook, hook grip knee sleeves but you know what i mean and she's literally just looks like a generic belt from what i can see i can't see the back where the names all usually on the back uh, and it, she just personalized it which i really think is cool Died. you okay, know she's that's yeah wow it like there was nothing in that but and she's and running she out. Runs out. <laughs> she's tough she's got very time. impressive all right got... there is a name on the belt yeah wow it like there was nothing in that but... i don't know if we can see what and that she's is running though out she's tough she's got no. time can't really got see time. 35 seconds okay this will be one of the most unbelievable things we've seen to go from being unconscious to potentially potentially having the winning lift overhead yeah this for the lead not more than a minute ago she was unconscious on the platform Much that's better. a better clean yep. And oh, Andrea wow. Cortruta has wow. just put 110 kilos overhead. And one of the coolest, uh, I think, one of the coolest celebrations I've ever seen. It's really, really cool. Right, so let's quickly have a look at her clean where she passes out. Yeah, I so feel like she rushed this a too. little this bit. This is huge. So 
So she gets her grip. Twelve is her best. She's fine. She doesn't. So there she her regrip. Somewhat familiar territory for Andrea. She does seem at this point. She does seem pretty calm. There she seems to be not rushing it necessarily, a but tough just clean. a little bit. Oh, she and then obviously passes out with the second one here. Indeed. I just feel like she takes a little, she doesn't have quite as much time. She had 40 seconds on the first one and 30 when she went out, she had 35. I don't even know what she had at this point. Not more than a minute ago, she was unconscious on the platform. That's a better clean. Yep. Just feel like she takes a little bit more time Good. when she, she sets herself to, to start pulling. That's a better clean. Yep. Let's have a look at that side by side. Right. Side by side, clean and jerks. Obviously, some of them change angles throughout, so unfortunately, we won't be perfect, but we are doing the best we can here. Right, so again, wide stance, and this one, she's already looking up a little bit, which, yeah, it's about the same time. They actually start lifting at exactly the same time, which is how I planned it. She's got a little bit of an arm bend, but that might just be to get around her legs because she's got a wide, wide stance. Uh, her arms kind of needs to bend around her legs and they do straighten out a little bit more. Yeah, so they do straighten out through the pool a little bit more. Good, close, uh, keeping the bar nice and close. She's already on her toes there, which is the one thing that I would maybe uh, train her with. Um, try not to get on her toes too early. Uh, apart from that, the clean looks very good. She does have strong legs, obviously. Oh, let me just go back a, f a little bit further. You can see she's under this one a little bit slower and obviously standing up significantly more difficult. She just caught it wrong. And then she passes out on that one. Unfortunately, we'll be seeing anything there anymore. It takes a little bit longer on this one for the clean and jerk. Makes, sh makes sure she's ready. And then this one just goes for it. I mean, at that point, to be honest, you kind of have to. You don't want to be spending more time under that weight. You just want to get it done nice and solid and her standing back up is good front foot first front foot first very very good and again the coolest celebration i think i've ever seen in weightlifting very strong she's got a very solid split jerk her front foot is literally rock solid look at look at the speed of that front foot no time wasted on that front foot so good her her back foot is pretty fast as well she's got a fairly straight leg which i prefer you should have a bend in your leg but not too much of a bend in my opinion very very good right that is her lifts done i really enjoy watching these videos and uh breaking down some of the stuff i that's also how i learned that's how i learned weightlifting i've actually never been coached by anyone so everything i know i've learned from watching and obviously doing my courses i am weightlifting a british weightlifting level two qualified and a licensed coach so yes uh i do know a little bit about this stuff uh, i'm also a com competitive athlete in weightlifting so yeah very cool to watch this i really enjoy this i hope you did as well if you did and you maybe enjoy it you learned something i don't know maybe if you did so consider subscribing and liking the video it really does help out a lot we're getting close to that thousand subscribers well we're about halfway which is we're just over halfway which is really cool uh great to see the channel grow a little bit and uh yeah we'll be doing more of this if you guys enjoyed it let me know down in the comments uh which athletes you want me to do and that sounded weird which athletes you want me to review and react to uh in the weightlifting uh world and even in crossfit if you want me to do crossfit specific lifting videos then i can do that as well i am always enjoying that stuff so thank you for watching have a good one i'll see you all in the next video so yeah